Jesus and his disciples sat around the table after dinner one evening when Jesus began to teach. He said, I'll give you a new command. Now that's something that would have made the disciples sit up and take notes. A new command. I mean, something that had never been taught before. Everything Jesus said was important, but this was definitely something to pay close attention to. He said, I give you a new command. Love one another. You must love one another just as I have loved you. Love one another. Now, that doesn't seem like anything new. You hear stuff like that all the time. But the second part was new. Jesus said to love just as I have loved you. That wasn't natural. Because think of how Jesus loved people. He healed people. He served people. He taught people. And shortly after his meal with the disciples, Jesus would give up his life for people. That kind of self-sacrificial love just wasn't normal. But that kind of love was important for the early followers of Jesus because, as Jesus put it, if you love one another, everyone will know you are my disciples. If the disciples loved one another, it would point people to Jesus, which was their mission after Jesus died and rose again. So there was this new command, this new way of living for the early believer, or there was the other way. That's right. This is the way I've always lived, and it's the way I'm always going to live. It's my way, and I like it. One way to live was to be selfish with your food. I eat alone. I don't want anybody touching my food but me. And if there are any leftovers, guess who they're left over for? Me. Then there was the way of the new believers. Hey, dinner's at my house tonight and you're coming. What? No, 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 no. You did dinner last night, it's my turn. Oh, hey. Yeah, I didn't see you standing there. You wanna come over for dinner? Yeah, well, maybe next time. Uh, how about some fresh fruit? One way to live was to be selfish with your stuff. What's mine is mine and it's staying mine. I work for it, I paid for it, I'm keeping it. Oh, and stay off my lawn. Or, of course you can use my shovel. I mean, what good is a shovel if it's not shoveling? <laughs> Keep it as long as you like. Oh, hey, how about you, you need anything? I don't borrow things. I don't want to owe anybody anything. Oh, well. Well, if you need something, just uh, let me know. I mean, I don't have much money, but uh, I do have an old uh, bracelet I can sell you if you get in a pinch. You'd sell your own bracelet if I needed something? Well, sure I would. It's just a bracelet. I don't understand you. One way to live was to be selfish with your time. I get up, I eat breakfast, I go to work, I come home, I go to bed. If there's any time left over during the day, that's me time. And I'm spending it on me. Or the new way. Will I see you at the temple courtyard today? Same place as yesterday? Okay, I can't wait to hear what Peter has to tell us about Jesus today. How about you, are you coming? What? No. Oh, well, is, is there anything you need me to uh, pray for? Pray? For me? Sure, we, we pray together every day. I, no, thank you. The believers shared their lives together. They ate and prayed together. They sold things they owned and gave to anyone who needed something. Every day they met together praising God and learning about Jesus. They loved one another. And people noticed. What is it about those people with the giving and the sharing and the spending all that time together? You don't know? Of course I don't. How, how dare you insinuate that? No. We love each other this way because it's how Jesus loved us. Oh, maybe you'd like to join us sometime. <laughs> maybe. Maybe I will. Great. Up here. Every day the Lord added to the group of new believers. More and more people came to believe in Jesus. Their love for others was contagious. And the good news of Jesus' love spread across countries and continents over decades and centuries and millennia. The new command may not be so new anymore, but it's still just as important to love one another.